start with the performance last night. What, what did you make of it? Was it just purely a team that was just a little better on the night in terms of Richmond? Yeah, I think it's that simple, mate. Yeah, they were they were outstanding and we probably couldn't quite go with them for, for the whole four quarters. So um, I thought the effort was pretty good by our boys. Um, you know, really proud of the way we, we fronted up and had a crack, but weren't good enough against a team who's um, probably once again this, this season, the uh, the yardstick for the competition. So um, disappointing not to get the result, but um, yeah, we'll move on and bounce back in five days. How's JK? Have you... Obviously, you would have seen him uh, this morning because you're almost living with each other. How's he pulled up? And is there any chance for Tuesday or would you rule him out pretty much straight away? Oh, I haven't seen him this morning. I'm tipping he enjoyed his sleep in. Um, yeah, don't know. We won't rule him out just yet. Um, obviously, they they pulled him from the game, so um, didn't risk anything stupid and um, hopefully has, has recovered well enough to, to play Tuesday. But, um, yeah, we... Obviously, in this day and age, take this this sort of stuff pretty serious. So um, it'll be a bit of a wait and see, I think, for Joshy. Can I take you through a highlight of the game? It was Luke Shuey storming through the middle of the grounds, uh, running towards the top of the 50. And can you explain what happened after that for us, please? <laughs> no. No, I can't. Um, well, no, nah, so Dommy handballed to me. And I think my initial thought was um, kick a goal. And I remember getting to about 14 or 15 metres in and thinking I'm about to be pinged for um, running too far. So I panicked a little bit, had to get boot to ball, but unfortunately I was on the wrong foot and um, just had to throw the non-preferred at it. Luckily got a toe to it. And uh, the worst part was I nearly laced Jack out in the pocket, but I was actually going for goals. So um, certainly not one I'm going to see on my highlights package down the track, Lockie. Uh, it was certainly uh, shoey on your boot. It was a bit of humour for you on a Thursday night. How did you find the pressure, Luke? Because it seemed like the Tigers really really brought that to you and probably, I guess, didn't allow you to play the, the style of game that you guys uh, enjoy most. Yeah, well, that's been, their, um, that's been their trademark for three or four years now is the pressure they bring around the footy. So we knew that going in. Um, I thought at times we handled it well and at times they were too good for us and, and we coughed it up and... Um, they're as good as anyone at, at hurting you going the other way from that situation. So, um, yeah, plenty to learn. And um, look, we had a lot, a lot of young guys playing last night, a lot of guys in their first first few games, um, which is exciting for us as a club, but really good exposure for them to come up against Richmond. Um, yeah, you're not going to get thrown into too much more of a deep end than that. So really good learning curve for a lot of our guys. But um, yeah, we probably didn't handle it as well as what we would have liked. How did you pull up yourself? Obviously, a short break, um, and you know you've, you've had a few sort of um, little injury niggles this season. How, how do you pull up, and what does the week ahead look like? Because it's a, another short break heading into the uh, the Bombers on Tuesday. Yeah, I've, I've pulled up well, mate. I've um, yeah, no no worries for me. So um, five day turnaround, real real recovery focus. Obviously, we'll we'll have a training run at some stage, but it won't be anything that we're used to. Uh, be nice and light, and um, yeah, I'm sure Tuesday will come around pretty quick. On that, Luca. Yeah. Seventy-one minutes against Hawthorne yeah, for you. Seventy-two minutes um, against GWS for you. Eighty-three last night. Was it always planned that you would go up, or was that by necessity because of Josh? Um, yeah, I don't know, mate. I haven't spoken to the um, strength and conditioning staff about that. Maybe because JK went down, but um, yeah, no, not sure. Obviously, three on the bench. You're always going to play a little bit more game time, and um, but. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not the man that can answer that for you, mate. How do you address the issue of when the marking game is taken away from you that you're not performing as well? 46 marks last night. It was 56 and 47 in losses in Queensland earlier this year as well. When teams take your kick mark game away, it seems like there's no ability to really react mid game and get it back. Uh well, well, we have we have won games um, without taking a huge number of marks before. So, and that. You know, that we haven't reviewed our game yet. We got that the Sabo, but um, that wasn't the reason why we lost. I think when we play well, our marks tend to be up, but, um, you know, the, that wasn't the sole reason why Richmond beat us last night. They were they were probably better at the contest than we were for a lot of the night, and, um, and their pressure probably got to us a little bit as well. But, um, yeah, I, personally, I'm not looking too much into the, um, the marking stuff. 
Hey, Boots, it's Chatters here. How are you doing? Good, Chatters. How are you? Um, I'm well, thanks. Just wanted to ask you about Danaher. Obviously, he, he was a huge part of the, the Bombers' comeback last night. How, how much on guard are you guys ahead of that battle? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I back will um, put a bit of effort into him if he's... If he gets up for next week, obviously his first game back for a long time and didn't miss a beat, did he? So, um, oh, is he is a he's a star when he's fit. So, um, yeah, our backs have uh, got the job done on plenty of gun forwards over the years, and um, we'll back them in next week. You guys have become so accustomed to, I guess, Barras and McGovern just cleaning up down in defence. Last night it was a different case; they were kept out of the game. How hard is it for you guys when they are kind of nullified like that? Oh, well, their, their number one role is to defend. Um, look, I thought they defended reasonably well. Uh, obviously, their, their intercept marking, we're, we're not going to have seven or eight intercept marks from both of them every week, but um, you know, we don't want to rely on that to win games. Um, and you know that, that them not taking as many intercept marks last night wasn't the reason um, we allowed Richmond to kick the score they did. So uh, we don't rely on that. Obviously, they'd love to take more marks, but... We don't need them to. If they do, great. That's what they do, and they're two of the best at it. But um, yeah, we, we we'd like to find other avenues to win. What did you learn from last night then, in terms of when they aren't taking those intercept marks? What what's a good way around that so you guys still get that bounce out of defence and you can still cut off that supply? Oh well, you need you need to get numbers back to defend, and um, you need to expect the ball to come to ground because um, you know good forward lines. If they're not going to mark it, they they find a way to bring the bring the ball to ground for their small forwards. And Richmond obviously have the best um, the best small forwards in the competition, and they showed that last night. So um, you know, as a midfield, we probably need to get get back and help a little bit more, and um, you know, ant- anticipate the ball coming to ground. But you know, as I said, we don't want to rely on Gov and, and TB to be taking ten or twelve marks a game. Luke, I know you probably haven't watched the Bombers because they were obviously before you, but just a, a quickie on, um, it was an amazing turnaround last night. We're not seeing a lot of those type of turnarounds because of the shorter game. Just your thoughts on uh, their performance last night, just having obviously looked at the score? Yeah, yeah. As you said, Lockie, I haven't seen a, a second of, of vision, but um, the scoreline shows that it was a pretty gutsy win and... Um, that's what they're capable of, you know. They've they've been written off plenty of times this year and copped a lot of criticism, but um, they've got the cattle to play some really good footy. And um, obviously, they they dug in last night and a really gutsy win. So, um, yeah, a, a huge challenge for us in in five days. Do you have any plans for you? Sorry, Drew. Uh, do you have any plan for you, Luke, with the busy schedule um, of resting at all, or are you just going to continue on your merry way? No, nah, mate, I'll, I'll um, take each day as it comes and hopefully play every game. Um, if there comes a stage where I'm um, too sore and can't get up, then so be it. But no, nah, the plan is to, to play every game and, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hey, Boots, it's Chatters here. Just a quick one then, just Luke, just on the, um, the away form, obviously the slow start to the year. Um, Another loss to, to, to kick off the Queensland trip. I mean, is there a bit of urgency to to, to get a win on the board to, to sort of build some confidence and I guess sort of maybe just silence a bit of the talk that you know you guys are struggling to win when it comes to moving away from Optus? Oh, there's urgency to win because we we want to um, win and play finals. Uh, we're not worried about the talk from the the media side of things, um, and we're not. You know, there's certainly no alarm bells after losing last night. We were up against um, an amazing side club who've, who've been the benchmark for two or three years now and um, our boys had a crack um, really good learning curve we weren't good enough so there's plenty to plenty to improve on but um, yeah I thought we yeah we bring that energy and, and effort most weeks I think we're gonna be okay so um, now we'll be fine mate.